Now I know you're super eager to get started creating your first filter, but before we start, I just want to go over where you can turn for help if you ever get stuck. Now I've been creating lenses for a few years and I get stuck all the time. So if you ever need to ask for help, don't be ashamed. Just ask. We're all here to help. First thing I want you to do when you get stuck is to actually go back and rewatch that part of the video. There might be a small key step that you missed, or maybe just wasn't clear enough the first time around. If you've rewatched the video and you still don't know what's going on, go ahead and ask in the comment on the video. I tried to respond pretty quickly, usually within a few days, depending on what's going on, but go ahead and ask and I will hop in and try to help you the best that I can. Now, sometimes the answer to a question is more complicated or longer than what you can put in a YouTube comment. So sometimes I will refer you to the Lens Studio forums. If you go to the Lens Studio website, go to learn. Now down at the bottom, there's a link to the forum. Now we have a few different categories here. Uh, generally, when you have a question, you'll post it in general. So what you can do here is before you even ask your question, go ahead and search and see if someone's already asked it. So what if no one's asked your question yet on the forum or is a little more specific than something that anyone has asked? In that case, go ahead and ask your question. Just click into the general Topic, come over here and type new post. And all you have to do is give it a title and a description. Now the description is super important to try to get right. Don't just say it's not working because the first person to answer your question is going to come along and say, what isn't working? And you're no closer to getting an answer. What I recommend is to first describe what you are trying to do. Next, say what you've already tried. Third, explain what is actually happening. And then make sure that uh, you reiterate what you're looking to do. So let's say we're trying to add a grain overlay. You have the grain image, but you can't see the person underneath. It's not overlaid. Instead of just saying my grain overlay isn't working, I would say I'm trying to add a grain overlay. I added my grain as an image. I can see it. But I can't see the person. How do I make sure it's overlaid so that I can see the grain and the person at the same time. Now that is a very clearly defined question and you're going to get a very specific answer that solves your problem.